guys, what's up? This is Simon from DevDactic and today I'm going to show you how to make a signature pad inside your Ionic Framework app. And for this we'll use this tiny little JavaScript library called Signature Pad you can find on GitHub. So, well, let's go ahead and create a new Ionic project. So let's wait for the lightning speed of my connection. And meanwhile, we can see, as this guy seems to be really nice, we can install his library with the Bower tool. So I recommend to do this, but it's optional. You can also download it and include the, yeah, include the files in your project. I also add the save flag so it will persist in our Bower file. So let's go to our index, and in order to use it, we must include our script we just installed. So that's fine for now. Now we can go on and include the stuff we really need. So obviously we will need a controller assigned to our body. And now what we're gonna do is add a canvas element inside our ion content in which the user can draw or make a signature or whatever he likes. So for this I will add the class to the header, uh, to the ion content. And as we don't want the screen to get scrolled when the user starts drawing inside our canvas element. So now the canvas. We need an ID for the canvas as we need to get this canvas from our app.js afterwards. So I will give it just canvas. And we need some size, obviously. Additionally, I gonna add a little border so you can see the area better. Well that's our canvas element. Now additionally to our drawing canvas we might need some actions so I'm gonna create two buttons with a little button bar. Pretty cool. And some color to our buttons. And the ng click event will call a clear canvas function, which we will obviously implement later on. And the second button again some color user likes color to guess what save our canvas you will see how this will work when we are going to add these things.
And the last thing we will add is an image, which will not yet be a set, but we will set it with the signature the user has drawn if he uses our app. So that's everything for the index. Now let's go to our app.js. As we assigned a controller, we must create this controller. And first of all, we're going to get our element. Do you remind it? Obviously. And now we're going to uh, create our signature pad by the library. And we give our element to the library. So now our signature pad is ready to yeah, perform some actions. So let's create our actions. The first one was to clear our canvas. That's one simple. Just go ahead and type clear. So if the user has drawn stuff and clicks on clear, canvas will just be cleared out. Not very special. The second one was our safe canvas. Well, it's not very hard, but it's a good function. So here we make use of the two data URL of the signature pad library. And this way we get the data the user has drawn on the canvas and as this data is pretty good right now we can just assign the data to our signature which we have here as the image so that's pretty much everything you need for now so go to your terminal and well, for my side, I'm going to add the iOS platform. And prepare the platform. And now, do the magic. Hopefully, everything will work out now. So here's our app, here's our canvas element and the two buttons and no image right now. So I'm going to draw some simple elements and nothing happens. So that was unexpected, maybe a typo. I guess it's always a typo on my side. Good thing it's happening now. So I can show you how to debug an app. I pretty much always use console in here. And let's check it out. We draw, we save, and nothing happens. That's typical for JavaScript. But why?
good old JavaScript debugger. Okay. Oh, we get data. That's called. That's our problem. Oh. Tiny typo can make many problems. Yeah, fuck my life. Okay, let's go back to our simulator or just rebuild the app. Yeah, that's the thing I hate about JavaScript. Just one wrong letter and no fuck was given from any login. Here's our new app. Let's draw something. Yay, we got our drawing here. Now clear the canvas and it's cleared. Epic surprise. Okay guys, sorry it took some minutes more, but this way you learned how to debug an Ionic app. And if you want to make something more with the pet, you can see here it has some some smooth curves and some more options here you could expect inspect like the color and the width and much more so feel free to check out these things and yeah i'm happy if you subscribe to me goodbye